Welcome back. It's time for our Pet of the Week segment. And we have this sweet, sweet girl. James, tell us about Olivia. You know, one, Olivia's really enjoying her time in your lap. I'm already getting so, covered in kisses. <laughs> she is a five-year-old, so we're told, Karen, Karen Terrier mix. Yes. Um, definitely quite a few mixes in there. I, yeah. I sometimes call them AKC, all kinds contributed. <laughs> um, and when you look at her, you see the wiry coat, and you're thinking it's going to be a coarse type right. coat. She's so soft. But she's a really soft coated dog. She which is really, really nice. is. Yeah, um, you think she's going to be kind of wiry, and but she she's has so a little soft. crest on here that you know yeah, sometimes will show up and yeah. show the little rocker in her. Yes. Um, she came into us with kind of a sad story. Her mm -hmm. owner passed away. Right. A uh, friend of the family hey, has baby. had her for a while. They were not successful in finding another family member or friend to take her, and so. Connecticut Humane Society stepped up and she is spayed. Um, at five years of age, this is as big as she's gonna get. Mm -hmm. And while all dogs shed, the terrier types tend to retain their coat a little better. So for people who don't yeah. like hair all over the place. Mm -hmm. the, these she's not a dogs, huge shedder. Yeah, regular right. brushing and bathing is still yeah. um, a good thing. And shy at first, but mm -hmm. then she starts to warm up. So even today when I was yeah. getting her ready to come to the studio, she was a little shy and now she's like, Put me back in his lap, you know, <laughs> so it won't take her long to warm up to you. No, and, no, and you said she travels well. You're and, and walks well on the leash too, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. And yeah. uh, she appears to go to the bathroom outside as opposed to inside, which that's is good. It's it that's always a plus with right. a mature dog. And these little dogs sometimes are allowed to get away, get away with being, you know, a pooper inside, but she seems to hold that for outside. <laughs> well, that's good. What about with uh, maybe kids and other pets? What do you, you think? You know, since she's really not been around children, if mm -hmm. you have kids that are like 10 and older, that might be, be beneficial. These little oh, dogs gosh, can sometimes be manhandled by toddlers. And right. so, and you know, we just love that. bring the whole family down, come down and spend a little time with her. And I know that in the short time we've had her, she's become a favorite of our volunteers and can staff. Can you see there. yourself? Look at that cute can face. Can you see yourself? Oh, yeah. she's checking herself out. Gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, and you said you're not quite sure about how she would do with cats. You know, she's not been around cats. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I would say if you have cats that are accustomed to having a dog around, uh, my guess would be she'd be respectful. Mm -hmm. uh, but our volunteers and staff during the adoption process could kind of give you some tips on how to yeah. make that transition happen. Uh -huh. wow. I have a big cat at home that'd probably try to put put this one in a litter pan, you know. <laughs> so. Keep her in line, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But she's so sweet. I know, aren't you? Very Aww. alert, and I suspect, you know, like with most dogs, and particularly terriers, she's probably a barker when, you know, there's a time for it. Right, Strangers she's just around, right, so we right. but we work. haven't heard a peep from her. No, she was, no, she she's was so well quiet behaved. in the newsroom there. But yeah, she's certainly she's got energy, but she's really perfectly fine to just hang out and snuggle on your lap, uh, Look, too. she's starting to now start to fall yeah, asleep in your lap. Yeah, she's slinking down. I feel her. She's getting heavier. <laughs> yeah.